Hey guys, it's Josh over at j &H. I hope everybody's having a good night. Uh, let me know if you can hear me okay, you can see me okay. Um, still getting used to this streaming thing. Uh, I've got this whole setup going. The only thing I'm still waiting on is, is the good microphone, so if my audio is not the greatest, I apologize about that. Um, but we'll get started in a minute. I just want to make sure that everything is, is set up and that you can hear me. Uh, drop me a comment if you could see me and, and hear me and all that kind of stuff. Um, let's just make sure that this is, this is going well. All right, let's get started here. So, unfortunately, no official holic tonight. He has a date, so he said, "Oh, can we switch it up to Sunday?" And I said, "Of course, no problem." So, uh, no official holic tonight. Sorry about that. I didn't mean to tease you with that. I thought this was happening. It didn't happen. It will definitely happen Sunday. We'll make sure that he uh, gets his butt onto this live stream. We'll do an interview with him, talk with him, see what's up with him. I know he's been down south for a while and uh, doing a lot of fun fishing. If you've been watching his videos and subscribe to his channel and all that kind of stuff. So uh, what are we going to do tonight? It's just me. What are we going to talk about? Um, I got a list here and I figured we'd, we'd go through it. Um, there's all kinds of different things going on. I got a new product that I can show you here. I got some fun stuff. I've also got industry news, that kind of stuff. So what we'll do is I'll talk about all this stuff and then, you know, post your comments and I will respond to your comments uh, as we go or, or, you know, as, as we show things. Uh, first things first, let's talk about Abbott for a second. Uh, I love Abbott, huge Abbott fan. We sell a ton of Abbott. Um, it's what I call a cult brand, meaning it just sells because, first of all, it's great stuff, but also because it's just got this reputation. It's like Abbott, uh, Van Stahl is like another cult brand, Penn to some extent, that kind of stuff. But with Avid, what they did was they, um, they've they changed over their G2 reels. So they had the Gen 1s, now they have the G2s. You remember, they come in five colors, right? And they, the Neptune's hard and the gold, black, blue, and silver, right? It's five colors. So what they're doing is they're actually getting rid of Neptune's hard and adding all of the other regular colors, which is like green, red, gunmetal, and pink for the time being. So I think it's nine colors. Lefty will still be just in silver. But, um, so that's, that's regular G2s. They're also doing something that is a little bit strange to me, which is what they're calling, um, no glide plate versions, which is basically the exact same reel as the G2, except the lever drag system is not as good, right? So, you know, as a company, when you have, I think it's like 250 new SKUs, you know, which is a lot. I mean, think about that. 250 new Avid reels or new SKUs from Avid because of all the colors and the sizes and stuff, you know, from SXJ, all the way up to uh, LX, right? Um, you sort of like doubled your SKUs in the same things and there's like a $25 price difference. So we are deciding to go with the glide plate version, the better version, it's like 25 bucks more. We think it's a better value for your money. We think that glide plate is important, that you know that's an advantage setting that drag. So that's what we're gonna go with. If for some reason you want the no glide plate version, you can just reach out to us and we will we'll get that for you. But it's not something that we're gonna stock. Um, because it's just too much confusion. You know, if there's 6,000 different things of the same thing, you know, you're going to just get confused and not buy anything because you're not going to know what's going on. So uh, we're going to make that decision that we what we feel is best for our customer base and go with that. Uh, but again, if someone wants a no glide plate version, they would just first of all have to be aware of it and then reach out to me uh, and let me know and we will uh, we'll make that happen. Um, all right, that's Avid. TikTok, I'm addicted to TikTok, I gotta be honest with you. It has really grown on me. I've been just experimenting on the platform. If you're not on there, you should mess around with it. It's not just for kids, it's like expanded into a wide range of people of all ages and doing different things from, you know, yeah, there's some people do the dances, but they do cooking, a lot of humor, uh, a lot of memes, a lot of uh, savage, funny stuff. And then, um, you know, all different kinds of stuff, trying foods from all over the world and whatever. It's, it's worth taking a look at. Uh, we've been just doing more on there, more, um, sort of, I don't want to say sarcastic or just, you know, more direct, you know, like you treat your fans from different platforms in a different way uh, on TikTok because they're younger and they just, you know, say stuff. I tend to uh, correct them sort of in, in a funny, interesting sort of way. So it's a really cool platform. You should give it a try. Um, also, you can you can follow us on there. We're at, you know, at JNH Tackle, everything. Uh, we've got, uh, I think we've got just over 18,000 subscribers on there, which is cool. Like, you know, gray hair, I'm not supposed to be on there, I'm an old guy, and uh, it's it's a lot of fun. So uh, definitely worth checking out. Uh, giveaways, okay, so we, I just announced the winner of um, the giveaway on Instagram for that uh, Shimano Twin Power. Congratulations to, uh, his name is Brooklyn Fishing something something. 
Uh, we're going to mail that out to him on Monday. But uh, I'm sort of in a space where I want to know um, what giveaway you want me to do next because I have a bunch of stuff that we can do giveaways on. And I'm sort of like, I don't want to repeat myself. I don't always want to do Shimano spinning reels. I don't always want to do like pen battle spinning reels. Uh, you know, we've got, you know, uh, the 420 holidays coming up. So that's going to be an avid giveaway. So give me some ideas. Hit me up in the comments. Let me know uh, what you think. Some giveaway ideas. You know, something reasonable. Usually the whole point of these giveaways is, uh, number one, to interact with the community, do something cool. And number two is to uh, increase our following, you know, build community, both on Instagram and on YouTube. So uh, hopefully you follow us on Instagram and you've been getting involved in these, these giveaways and maybe uh, one or two of you have even won them. So um, get on that. Hit me up in the comments. Let me know what kind of stuff you want me to give away and uh, you know, I don't care if it's weird stuff. I don't care if it's, you know, your favorite brand, whatever you could come up with, you know, come up with something interesting, something different. I will obviously do that. That's, that seems pretty cool to me. Um, some people think that this is like where I live. Um, this is a green screen. This is like a fake background. Um, so what I'm going to do with that is I want you guys to, or someone to create a, I guess a wallpaper or a background for me. Uh, if you create a cool, JNH background, something that I can use. I will use it in a live stream. And if I pick you to do it, I'll, I'll give you something. A JNH gift card, a swag bag pack, I don't know, something. But, um, you know, this home office thing, I, it looks cool, but I feel like I'm, uh, I'm in an Ikea somewhere. So if you, uh, you know, if you come up with something, if you're an artist, whatever, do it up. Um, all right, let's, let's talk about delays a little bit. Um, I did that Shimano video the other day. I hope you guys watched that, where I sort of explained what was going on with basically with Shimano specifically, but it seems to be happening with everybody, which is these huge delays. I mean, in the past uh, week, I've had at least half a dozen people who live in LA uh, reach out to me and, you know, talk about the port situation out there where you have just containers stacked like 30 on top of each other and nothing can move. So it's this really crazy situation where they don't want to send containers to the middle of the country because if they send a container to the middle of the country, they don't get it back for a long time, or maybe they don't get it back at all. It maybe goes to the other side of the country. So they wouldn't have any containers to then send back overseas to then load up and send back. So what they're doing is they're adding a step, which doesn't seem like a lot, but it is, which is they unload the container at the port and then put that on a truck. And that is, you know, just just labor intensive. Think about that for thousands and thousands of containers. If you have to actually physically, someone's got to physically, no, someone, a lot of people have to physically empty them get this all on trucks instead of on like trucks that hold cargo uh, cargo bays or whatever. It's just it's just an absolute nightmare and that's happening all over the country. It's happening all over the world. So that, uh, what I've seen is I've seen like um, additional months, month, one to two month delays of uh, goods coming from overseas, just in terms of like, even when they leave, you know, they might say, oh, well, you know, this is, this is gonna ship January 1st. And then they go, oh, you know, we were wrong. It's it's really uh, February 20th, right? And then you go, okay, February 20th. And then all of a sudden it's got to take 30 or 45 or even 60 days to get to an American port. And then from the port to the destination, depending on customs, depending on unloading, all this kind of stuff just adds extra time that uh, I don't think people realize or people pay attention to. So it's just been, um, it's just been crazy. And I thank everyone who like, understands that and, and is reasonable and says oh my god yeah of course this is going on and it's you know whatever it is they see it in other industries like that's why i don't have the microphone that i want i specifically bought a, a certain road microphone from adorama and it's been on back order for over a month now and uh, i get it i understand why you know so just waiting and waiting and waiting and it, it is what it is and that's sort of rippled through the fishing tackle industry everything from your high-end shimano reels that you really want to like fluke rigs, you know? Like if all the fluke rigs come from overseas because that's where they're tied and they get caught up in this, there's not gonna be fluke rigs in time for the fluke season, just as an example, right? So we are working at the shop to try to uh, avoid these kinds of, of issues where you have important seasons happening at a certain specific time, which like fluke season is a great example. And if you don't have the products that people need, you know, not necessarily like, um, a certain spinning reel or a certain rod. This is like rigs. This is like a whole huge segment. You know, it's like it's like we didn't have bucktails, right? You can't get bucktails for six months. That would be crazy. So we are doing things on the side to get other rigs, more rigs, that kind of stuff, and sort of uh, get as much as we can so that we're secure for the season. We're doing this for everything. We're doing it for offshore. I don't know if you saw the um, 
the picture, or maybe it was an Instagram story, I should post a picture. And I know uh, Chatterlores actually reposted it, so shout out to Justin at Chatterlores. Um, you know, he brought us, uh, you know, a huge, huge delivery of um, uh, spreader bars and, and uh, side trackers, that kind of stuff. And the whole point of that is not because it's like, I want all that right now, because it's not tuna season, right? But if I don't get that now, I'm not going to have that for June when tuna season is, is, is red hot, you know, June and July. So like, um, this is sort of like industry wide. This is what I'm doing. This is what a lot of people are doing. We are going sort of overboard and pushing to get as much in now because we know that there's going to be these huge delays, um, down the road. So, uh, a lot of people asking about the new twin power SW and it's sort of the same thing, sort of, but not exactly. And it's sort of, it's just the way that Shimano works. So Shimano uh, will deliver a couple of sides, you know, it's supposed to come out in the middle of this month. And Shimano will deliver a few pieces of a few sizes in that time frame. But then everything else is a who knows kind of thing. And it's not their fault. It's not any of these companies' fault. It just is what it is because of the logistics of it. You know, if their container comes into LA, you know, like it's, you know, it's sitting there in a, in a field of thousands of, of containers. Like, you know, you can't anticipate that. You can't prepare for that. It's just, it's just a crazy time. So um, all I would say is that if you want something new, pre-order it. If you want something and you're not sure if you're going to get it, buy it. I don't like saying that. I don't like pressuring people or, or putting a timer on like, you know, you better buy this now or else, you know, that's not, that's not my thing at all. But um, you will miss time, fishing time, if you don't do that. Uh, for for certain products, it just is what it is. And if you're if you have a question about that, if you're not sure if you, if the one of the products that you're interested in is going to be there in a week or month or three months or whatever it is, you know, hit me up in the comments, DM me through Instagram, email me joshatjnh.com, and I'll do my best to give you uh, some sort of answer. And hopefully, it'll it'll give you more uh, more information on that. Um, so let's let's do some products. We'll do some some quick ones. I got I got a couple things. I got the new uh, VR. 150, which I haven't even cracked yet. Brand new in the box. I got um, a brand new Stella 14K sticker still intact. I got the, I brought home the squid bucktail. I could see that green screen issues, but we asked Stanley uh, from SNS to to do like the ultimate bucktails in different colors and um, this is the squid one and it turned out awesome. So he brought this one in first. This will be around for a limited time. You can see it's got that, um, so you can see that. I don't want to stab myself. That VMC barbarian hook. Can you see that? That thing is crazy sharp. And um, it's just a sick bucktail. I mean, I really like it. I like how it turned out. Sorry, get the, it's hard to show a bucktail with the green screen, but he did a really good job painting it and everything. I've actually asked him to come on and do, uh, do a live stream with me. Um, maybe in the next couple of weeks. I think you guys have found it in interesting because I think people just think like, oh, bucktails, just tie bucktails. But he really does something different. Um, he puts a lot of effort into these things. He makes everything in the United States. And um, he's just a cool dude. And I, th I think you hearing his story and hearing how he actually makes this stuff will uh, will impress you. And you'll be um, you know more inclined to look at, at better stuff, even in something like a bucktail. You know, uh, you know, usually we're talking about, you know, thousand dollar reels and you get that versus a hundred dollar reel. But, you know, a ten dollar bucktail versus a, a two dollar bucktail. Maybe you say to yourself, ah, it's a bucktail. They're the same. Uh, but they're really not. That being said, you want to buy the two dollar bucktail? Totally cool. You do you. Do you. But I think um, he's got a very interesting story and I think you'll you'll dig hearing from him, especially with with me, you know, doing one on one and all that kind of stuff. I brought home some of this. This came in. Brand new extra tough boots. We've got some new colors. Oh, sorry, when I held that up, it looks like um, screwed up the screen. Well, let's crack these open so that you can see. There's actually um, two different colors. Let's see, what's this one called? This one is called uh, Real Tree Wave 3. Okay, very creative color name. Show that one to you. Let's see, can you see that? So this is the new uh, version of white or gray, the light version. If you can see the detail there. So they did away with Cryptek a couple of years ago. 
and now they've got uh, these. So if you're looking for the light color, it's this. So Extra Tough makes a bunch of different colors. We sort of bring in just a couple, like a blue and then a white or gray, you know, whatever the lightest color is. And uh, they're awesome. They're like, I don't know, 90 or 100 bucks. And then uh, they also did a camo, which is pretty cool. This one's called Camo. <laughs> oh. Mark, their marketing teams are working overtime. What should we call it? Oh, let's call it Camo. Oh, that's good. That works. That really differentiates us from everybody else. Well, I think so. Oh, let's get rid of that and let's show you the Camo. Camo's actually really cool. See if you like that. What do you guys think of that? It looks like it's showing up a little brown in this uh, this screen, but it, it is sort of like a, like a green and brown. It's got a little uh, bit of stuff on it, but what do you guys think of that? Oh, look, the green screen's, uh, I guess, because it's green. You can tell where it's green because uh, those areas will be gone, but uh, I don't know if I can. Yeah, no way to, for me to hide it, but I guess holding up a green thing is probably not the best, but. They're pretty cool. Same boot, you know, same boot as, as always, just just a different colorway. You know, they change up the seams sometimes. The bottoms, really nice, comfortable. We'll sell a lot of these. So if you like camo, I'm going to put these up on the website this week. Um, so that's that. What else do I have here? Uh, these things from Z-Man, Willow Vibe. I don't know if you could see that. Let's see if I can get behind that so you can focus on that. There you go. Freshwater jig heads with blades on them, you know, I always put this stuff to the end because, uh, you know, salt water always comes first with, with us rather than, rather than fresh water, but it is what it is. So let me, let me do this. Let me answer a couple of, uh, check out some comments real quick. And then what I'll do is I will crack open, uh, Stella and Van Stahl. We'll take a look at that so we can sort of see the difference. So we can talk about those, uh, people saying, hi, everybody says it sounds good. Good. People saying, hi, audio is good. Uh, why no rich told you he's on a date um, what's the best Aldi reel for under 200 bucks uh, Shimano Stratic FL 3000 is that under $200 it's right around there um, what's the difference in SLX DC and the SLX XT well DC break uh, is, is the main difference there um, you know the digital cast control which is really cool a lot of people actually like to die with too the uh, the SV spool. You know, you're, it's basically like you know you want to cast with lighter weights and and get some distance. Um, but you should read about those. Uh, fre you know, fresh water off the top of my head is not uh, the main thing that I do. Um, I do know these reels, the SLX XT. I don't think we've ever gotten it in. Um, maybe we have. I don't think I've done a video on it. Uh, I'll I'll do that. And I also have the now the SLX MGL, which is really cool. Uh, you can check that out too. That one's really nice for the money. Uh, Stella versus Saltiga, what are you picking to fish the rest of your life? I mean, they're both awesome. You know, they were actually, if you guys remember, last January they launched the same time while I was in Japan. That's one of the reasons that I went over there to check them both out. So I like both of them. You know, when I went down to Panama, I did take uh, the Stella 14K. I actually took this reel with me. This isn't my reel, but uh, another one. Um, I took that with me, fished that, fished the Twin Power 14K, and they're awesome. You know, you can't go wrong. Like, you know, it's like... Um, you're talking about high-end stuff that, that's that's super nice. I mean, if you pick either one of those, you're just going to absolutely love it. Uh, Tiagra 30 or Tiernos 30, definitely Tiagra. The Tiernos makes just a ton of noise. I mean, it's bulletproof. That thing is an absolute animal of a reel. So if you bought that and you can you can handle the the tick, tick, tick of the of the uh, the dog in that reel, cool by you. But for me, I'm, I'm fishing the Tiagra. That's that's another reel we fished down in Panama. Uh, it was Tiagra 30 or I think it was Tiagra, Tiagra 50. They're awesome. Tiagras are also on back order for a very long time. Um, they're oversold by like millions of dollars. Like in, in Tiagras, it's like absolutely crazy. They can't keep up. Um, I just think that what's happening with Tiagra is the same thing that's happening with everything else. And people, you know, it's like if you've got to prepare for something, right, and you order something and it doesn't show up, you go, you know, let me order some more just in case. And you order some more. And then you go, you know, a month later, it still hasn't shown up. It still hasn't shown up. The Tiagra's haven't shown up. Uh, let me order some more. And then you order some more. And all of a sudden, you've got, you know, three, four, five times what you would normally order. Um, and that accumulates. And Shimano multiplies that by every single dealer who's doing that, which is, let's say, let's say that's 50% of the dealers, which is probably reasonable. Um, you've got a lot of, a lot of Tiagra's on back order. Um, let's see. People saying hi. Some guys like Penn. 
uh, TikTok. Let's see, someone's asking about the Sertate. So lo I love the Daiwa Sertate Intro Reel. If you want to spend uh, 450, 500 bucks, that thing is killer. Uh, when are Visser Reels coming back in? So I actually got a call from Rob Colwyn, the founder of Van Stahl and Zbass and now Visser. Uh, he's overseas and he, he's coming back in a couple months. Um, we have a fair amount of them of different sizes. I know that the bigger sizes, he he said he was delayed on. We do have some eights. So depending on what size you want, um, you know, hit me up. Maybe send me a DM through Instagram uh, or email me, joshjanish.com. I'll look into that for you. Uh, someone wants to do a giveaway on a Tiagra 50 wide. We could do that. We just need some. Tranks, same thing. Um, Pen Fathom, you know, uh, I assume you mean the low profile, but... You couldn't mean any of that kind of stuff. You know, I was really surprised those pen, those pen low profiles. They are really good. And a lot of people are like, oh, they're just abus. And yeah, I think the like the guts, the, not the guts, like the body and everything are abu, but pen definitely reworked those to make them more salt water friendly. And um, you know, for the money, that squall is like is is great. Like 150 bucks for squall 200. Uh, I think it's 170 or 180 for the 300. I mean, that's that's really good value. And then I was talking with tackle advisors about those reels. And about the uh, the dark matter OB casting surf rod, and I had, I remember I posted that that picture on Instagram of the uh, of the combo with the prototype rod and uh, and the Coke, and all of a sudden you know Coke got canceled or whatever, and the you know in this craziness, this crazy world we live in, it's insane. So Coke gets canceled, and all these people are making comments about it, and uh, his his response was, you know, you could put a two hundred size reel on that too, and it's it's even better. So. Uh, if you're looking to get into a 10 foot surf casting reel with a conventional for you know half to one and a half or so ounces throwing stuff and you want to have a blast you know that that squall 200 fathom 200 you want to do tranks 200 those are awesome um even the daiwa lexa coastal lexa coastal excuse me um on that ob is killer uh, let's see here let's see accurate custom color so I'll do an announcement here. Why don't I do an announcement here? This will, this will be interesting. So we've done the Dorado reels, which um, you guys seem to love. They're super cool. So we said, what's the next um, species that would look good on a reel like that? And um, it's tough, you know, because the way they anodize it and stuff, it's not like the way that Avid does like the raptor skin or uh, the American flag. Like that's a different technique. They're literally like, like it's almost like just taking colors and 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 experimenting and trying to make them work rather than like a, a defined pattern. So um, the one we're working on now, and I just saw the um, latest update to it, um, is yellowfin tuna, and it looks really nice. It looks really really cool. So when those come out in a couple of months, I think you guys will be super hyped for those if you're an accurate fan. I mean, the West Coast guys are gonna go crazy because that's like one of their favorite species. Uh, but it's gonna be it's gonna be sick, and, and they're just they're just doing their best. One thing I like about Accurate is they are artisans, like they are into it. They want to make the best possible pro uh, product. You know, you never see quality issues with them. Like they just they just they just pump out quality. Like that's their that is their thing. So uh, when when I gave them this to do, you know, with the challenge them to do a elephant reel, um, they have been you know, incrementally making this thing just better and better and better and cooler looking uh, so that everybody who, who eventually buys one is going to be just super stoked to have one. So uh, that's that. Would we do an accurate custom colorway? You know, I think I still have, see, COVID messed everything up. If you remember last year, 2020, we were going to do something where we're going to do, I wanted to promote the app, the JNH app. I know you've seen the scroll over and over again. So if you haven't downloaded the app, go do that. We actually just added Google Pay to the Android version of the app. So if you like Google Pay, that's that's pretty cool. Um, so we, we wanted to promote the app. So we were like, let's do Let's do a giveaway every single month in, in 20, this is 2020, early 2020. And, uh, we'll, we'll do a giveaway every month, something cool. And the only uh, way to enter would be to, um, buy something on the app, right? We wanted people to interact with the app, get used to it and all that kind of stuff. And, and we started doing some giveaways and I think we got through to like, I don't know if it was March or something like that. And, and that next giveaway was the blue tiger accurate, you know, that special color blue tiger which, uh, which is just a sick looking reel. And uh, we never ended up giving it away, which is not like us. Like I like, you know, when I have giveaways, I give the giveaways away. That one we never did. And then we never really did a giveaway after that, even though my intention was to do a giveaway every single month. So I still have to give that reel away, I still have it. I can do that as a giveaway. Um, and I think that would be cool. 
Um, so maybe maybe we'll do that. Maybe we'll do that. Maybe not next, but but soon. I'll, I'll make sure we give that away, and um, hopefully that'll make up for the lack of of the giveaways in 2020 related to uh, the app. The uh, the app's been downloaded over, I think it's like 11,000 times now, which is really cool. So a lot of people are using it, liking it. It's the best way to shop um, with us. It's just so easy. All you have to do is log into your account, and then everything else is just straightforward. Uh, or your J&H account, excuse me. Um, so, yeah, so I can do that. that. That's a good idea. Let's do that. Let's give away an accurate uh, custom color. Um, would you do tackle instead of reels, like a ton of Kytec or something interesting? Yeah, absolutely. I actually, um, I was cleaning out my office. My office, uh, for those of you who don't know, why would you, um, is sort of part storage. You know, it's, I've got my desk in there, my L-shaped desk in there and, and all that kind of stuff. But we basically put a lot of the, the high-end reels in there as, as just storage because we can lock it at night and, and all that kind of good stuff. And um, so sometimes it just gets, we just get so much crap in there. And um, so we were doing, because we got in 150 van stalls uh, the, yesterday and they, they were going to go to my office, um, I, we, we basically cleaned out a bunch of stuff, found a bunch of stuff, um, found a bunch of um, just random stuff. And I was going to do a mystery giveaway. I found a Stratic in a battle. I was like, should I give away the battle and the Stratic together? Should I do those two different giveaways? I got this whole pile of various lures and you know, t-shirts and I think a shirt that I got in Japan and, and all this kind of just stuff, just fishing stuff that I have really no need for. I mean, I could, I could sell it. I, I could do that, you know, I, you know, especially the reels and that kind of stuff, but like, you know, I'd rather just like give it away, build community and all that kind of stuff. So I got to figure that out. Maybe what I'll do is maybe I'll put together like three different packages and, I'll, and then I'll ask you guys, I'll, I'll do like, a, I'll reach out to the audience and just say, let's vote, pick one, two or three. And that's the giveaway that we'll do for that week or so. Um, and maybe I'll figure that out uh, Monday or Tuesday. But that's a good idea, you know, giving away different stuff. And uh, that's a good suggestion. Give away spin fisher. We, do, we would do that. We've done that before. Uh, give what people ask for when they win uh, from beginners to pro because everyone fishes different. Yeah, you're right. You know, we try to, we try to mix it up. It's just... Um, you know, I try to give away things that people want, like that. That's like um, that's on the wish list, rather than you know. It's here's a, here's a funny thing. Like with TikTok and stuff, people are like, uh, or on on there, and they're younger audience, and they're like, um, "Hey, do a review of like a fifty dollar baitcaster," and I'm like, "Really? Is that what you want to see on this channel? Like, that's the you want to see like low end baitcasting reels and low end spinning reels and sort of you know that kind of stuff. Is that like the dream? Is that what?" Uh, excites you like you know i thought you'd want to see like you know like like the ferrari you don't want to see the ferrari you'd rather see like the chevette or something like that um so i try to steer away from that because it's just not as to me it's not as exciting like i want to see um different either different stuff like weird stuff that people make that's from japan that you've never seen before um, something that inspires you to fish in a different way than than you've been fishing all your life. And that's one of the, the reasons that I, I like teaming up with John Skinner is that he changed everything from this heavy duty bait and these thick rods and these you know Pen 320 GTs and all that kind of stuff that that I always that I never liked to the more modern lightweight uh, jig and bounce kind of stuff and and we got into like higher end bucktails and 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 stuff you know like this bucktail this squid bucktail is more interesting to me than a lot of different things and. It's a simple item. It's it's not crazy expensive. I mean, it's expensive for bucktail, but you know that that's the kind of stuff I like. So that's why I don't do sort of the lower end stuff. And I, I don't know if you'd get excited for like like if I gave away, uh, you know, a fifty dollars spinning reel. Are you guys gonna go? Oh my, I gotta get in this giveaway. I don't know. Um, uh, Fish all shad giveaway. We've done a bunch of those with uh, Black Friday. Giving away uh, like 10, 10 packs, right? Uh, to people, we could definitely do that again. Uh, maybe you want to talk with Fisher Holic. He's, you know, mentioning Fisher Holic again. We've got um, we're coming out with a smaller version of the of the Fisher Holic shad. Um, actually, a, a a a retailer in upstate New York asked if I would sell them some of the Fisher Holic uh, shad so that they can resell them in their store. So that's I don't know. That's something I've I've thought about. I don't know if I want to do that. You know, people are like, hey, why don't you take Dark Matter and, and sell it in other stores? For those of you who don't know, Dark Matter is our brand. It's just sold at JH. h um, But people like the stuff and they're like, oh, you should you should sell it in other stores. I don't know. It's something to think about. Um, Fisherholic, I don't know if you saw, we're doing an intro rod with him and a surf rod with him. 
and um, both are really nice. The, uh, the, the intro rod is cool because he wanted them to match. So the, the surf rod has a, like, you know, that, like uh, X-Wrap type grip, that rubberized X-Wrap grip. And he put that on a, uh, an intro rod as well to match. Same color, this really nice blue. And um, that's coming out in the middle of summer. Those are going to be really cool, different. He's going to fish those all over in Florida. And we're seeing that, like South Carolina or North Carolina somewhere. And then up here in New York. So... A lot of Fisherholic stuff coming. I'm very excited about that. Um, we're also working with another YouTuber. I don't talk about him a lot because we're sort of like, uh, I like him. He's a cool dude. It's it's Fish Hawk. If you guys are trout fishermen, he's pretty awesome. Uh, he's down in West Virginia. We're going to be doing stuff with him. Uh, a new rod, which he's been fishing with in his videos, and some spinner baits, some other things. So that's pretty cool. So you should check him out. Write that down. Fish Hawk. Um, he's, uh, he's a pretty cool dude. Uh, rod giveaways, yeah, I mean, you know, I've thought about doing like an OB giveaway or, or Dark Matter Skinner Rod. I know for the people that like, you know, the, the whole thing is like you want to build community. You want to bring new people in. So if I if I have, if I give away Dark Matter stuff, is that really going to bring new people in? Because have the new people heard of Dark Matter? Um, may, you know, maybe they have. Maybe things are getting around. I mean, those those two rods are, are pretty cool very, and they're very popular. So that's something to think about. Uh, Tiagra 30 or Tiernos 30 uh, for uh, billfish trolling. Um, you know, Tiagra, again, I'm a, I'm just a Tiagra fan. You should also look at the um, uh, the BFC reel, the, the Talica BFC reel, and any of those sort of billfish style reels. I think Siegler makes a version of a billfish reel. Accurate makes one, you know. Uh, someone says giveaway gift cards. You know, we could do gift cards. That's that's pretty cool. Um, you know, again, would you guys want to see us give away gift cards? Something to think about. We've done that at Black Friday. Super Strike Package. I've done that several times. That was actually our first giveaway. Uh, people like that. Um, people saying they've been buying early, you know, because of all the shortages. Very cool. Um, let's see here. People like the bucktail. Uh, let's see. Um, what are your thoughts on the Saltiga 10 or 15 star drag for deep water fluke and compare it to an Avid? So I'm not a fan of the 10. The 10 and the 15 are the exact same reel. The 15 has a deeper cut spool. So why get the 10? It's a Japanese thing. They never should have brought it over. Don't know why they did. Get rid of it. Don't buy it. Go with the 15 all day. The price is the same. It doesn't make much sense, right? Um, compared to an Avid, I mean, you want to compare that to the Avid Star Drag. You don't really have a reel in that size. You know, the smallest one is an MXJ. Is an MXJ the same size as a 15? Mm, I think it's bigger. Uh, for me, the, the Saltiga is a nicer reel. I would go with that. Um, what's a good fluke setup, rod and reel? I will defer to the Skinner combo, which, you know, at the moment is uh, a Quantum Accurate Baitcaster with a... A uh, Jig World Nexus rod or a uh, Tsunami Classic rod, but that is going to change this summer because we have a Dark Matter John Skinner fluke rod coming out, which is exactly to his specifications. It's that six foot eight rod. It's going to be sick. Uh, it looks beautiful. I don't know if I posted a picture of it yet, but um, that's going to be super popular. But again, don't wait for that because that's well into the season because of all these shipping delays. And all that kind of stuff. Any clue on when VS200, 250 reels will be in store? We just got black 200s in. I'm not sure about the 250. Silver ones, um, I think he said a month or so. Um, uh, someone else is saying, I know you were planning on a loyalty program. Do you know when you might start it? Okay, so this is going to, let me take a sip of uh, my banned Coke. Or I should say my canceled Coke. Um so let's start at the be at the beginning. So one of the things that we're trying to do is we're just trying to get better. We're trying to get better as a store, give better customer service, uh, give you guys more information, and that really comes down to software, right? And it's a lot of software. It's a lot of different programs. And by building all these programs and implementing all these programs. Uh, we are going to be able to speak more directly to you quicker, respond to your concerns quicker. And also, which is one of our failings, is like uh, pinpoint issues. Like, okay, like, like let's say you pre-ordered uh, a Saragossa 14K, right? And it's, it's, it's not in yet. So um, let's say there are 50 people that did that, right? Right now, we would like have to manually reach out to those people. We don't have a way to automatically say, oh, you ordered a, a 14K Saragossa? 
it's delayed two weeks, month, whatever, what would you like to do? You know, and send that sort of personal email saying, hey, this is what's going on with your thing. Um, what should we do, right? So by doing the kind of software integration we're doing, we're gonna be able to do that and so many other things. Um, and that comes to the loyalty program. So the loyalty program is part of that. And I've got to like um, say to myself, okay, what's the most important thing that we need to achieve? And sort of make a list of things down the line and see what's at the end and what's, what's not, what's the least important of, of the projects that we want to accomplish. Um, so uh, that loyalty program is definitely in there. And I will definitely do something at the beginning to reward customers from the past, meaning like maybe I'll start you off with something at the very beginning so that, you know, I don't want you just to like start even with everybody else. I will do something for the people that have shopped with us previously and who are, you know, fans and all that kind of stuff um, at the outset. So so don't worry about that. That'll be pretty cool. Um, and I've got a, a, an interesting way of doing it and uh, sort of a way of, of honoring uh, Harry at the same time and, and making a very J and H. So should be really cool. Uh, people saying, hi, are Shimano's back ordered? Yes. Um, are you going to carry ODM? No, I'm not going to carry ODM. I've told this story before. Um, you know, they are, uh, I just don't like their business practices. So I have no desire to, to carry ODM. If they came to me tomorrow and, and said, Hey, we changed things. We're doing this this way and that way. Then I would consider it, but at the moment I've I have no desire to carry ODM. Um, do you ever see uh, ISO rods and tackle coming ISO rods and, and, and tackle coming to the U.S.? Um, I don't know. I don't know that much about it. Um, so you know what? Why don't you do this? Why don't you shoot me an email, joshjnh.com, with that question? And what I'll do is I will sort of learn more and then respond to you once I've done that. Uh, do you think a Vans Sol VS150 could handle a larger King Mackerel Cobia Barracuda, Barracuda for pier fishing, or would a 200 be better? Um, you know, anytime you say you, you want to do something once, most things can do that particular thing once. It's a matter of doing it over and over and over and over again. So if you're concerned about it, or, you know, depending on what length of rod you're using, then I would bump up to the 200. Um, to sort of get more power and, and more guts in it. Um, power Pro or J-Braid, you know, you could pick either one and we, we sell more Power Pro than we do J-Braid. Um, uh, when we get your hands on the Pen Slammer 4, uh, I just met with Pen and they have no mention of a Pen Slammer 4, so I don't know if that's an iCast thing or that's a 2022 thing. Um, my guess it's probably a 2022, I don't see why they would replace the slammer so quickly. I'm, I'm, you know, is there anything about the, you know, the spin fisher came out after the slammer. Is there anything about that reel that makes it better than the slammer? Um, no, it's basically the same reel, but the slammer has, you know, more drag and better handle or different handle, that kind of thing. So I don't know. I, I think that was probably just a test model and uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, someone says app has been great. Thank you very much. Um, Saw your VR125 video. Can you talk about the VR150S? Uh, I have, will have the black one here, so we'll talk about that next. Uh, are the JNHC Robin stickers coming back? Yeah, like we probably have some. I ordered thousands and thousands of stickers. I probably have some. So if you shoot me an email with your address, I will mail one to you. Or if, you, uh, if you're local and you want to come to the shop, you can come to the shop, let's say, uh, Monday or Tuesday or something like that. Or, or you know, send me the email first. I'll respond because I'll double check. But I'm pretty sure we, we just have them. Um, show the Ferrari, don't worry, I will. Uh, show off the VR150 in black, I will. Um, how large will the new size finbacks be? They'll be smaller. I think it'll be a four inch. So that'd be really cool. Uh, who makes the dark matter rods? Uh, you know, it's our brand and we, we import them, uh, but we design them. The guys at the store design them. Um, you know, it's usually... Uh, how does it work? Usually, usually, you know, like with the with the YouTubers, with like Skinner and and Fishaholic, something like that. It's generally just like I talk with them, get an idea of what they want, and then we have prototypes made up, and we go back and forth till we figure it out. Um, non, like non influencers who want to fish a certain way, and it's like J and H making rods specifically for our customers. Um, that usually happens with either. I say, hey, you know what we need? We need we need this. Or one of my coworkers coming up to me and going, you know, it'd be cool if we had this or this fills a niche. And then I go, 
cool, let's let's map it out, let's let's get some prototypes and blah 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 blah. So uh, that's generally how that happens. Um, we've got uh, very cool stuff coming, different stuff, interesting stuff. Um, you know, I don't, I don't want to ruin some of the stuff for you. Be and again, like with all these ship dates being messed up, I don't want to say, hey, this is coming and then it doesn't come till September, and you wanted to use it inshore and all this kind of stuff. But we have definitely got some cool dark matter stuff. The whole point of dark matter for us was a couple of things. Um, we wanted to do our own brand. It's uh, it in in all honesty, it's it's more financially beneficial to the company than selling under the brand's product. It just is because we control everything. Um, and the goal of it was to, to come up with products that fit into a certain niche or a certain need. It was never like, let's make a whole series of saltwater rods and let's make 10 different versions and we're going to have a medium, medium, heavy, heavy, extra heavy, blah, blah, blah. We never wanted to do that. Now, will that happen down the road? If the brand becomes really popular and people are like, we need this wide range, yes, but that's not my intention. My intention is just to make cool products that are either different or better than what's available. And, um, you know, just, just to have people use stuff that I know and my team knows are gonna help you catch more fish. So that's the whole point of the brand. We're, we're building a dark matter website that goes part and parcel with the software we're talking about. That's going to be part of it, which should be pretty cool. Um, Pete, some people saying uh, keep it J and H only, meaning don't sell dark matter outside of J and H. You know, that's 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 a good idea. Interesting. Um, Skinner's cost me a lot of money. All good stuff though. Yeah, you know that guy's that guy's really good. He's he's a really good fisherman. Um, uh, what's the price of the tsunami classic uh, fluke rod you mentioned? It's like sixty bucks. They make uh, they make a, a range of them. So if you just just go on jnh.com and check out uh, Tsunami Classic casting rod, you will see it. I recommend you going up one power from what you think. So if you're if you think you need a medium heavy, you probably need a heavy. If you need a medium, medium you probably need a medium heavy. Um, someone said, "Yo, that house is so dope." This is this is fake. This is not real. Uh, VR fifty one lefty. They Vansol decided not to make that. I don't know why. These they make weird decisions. Uh, Vansol was acquired by Pure Fishing. Used to be owned by Zebco. I thought Zebco made weird decisions, and let me tell you, they do make weird decisions. Um, but it seems to be continuing uh, with Pure Fishing. I don't know exactly why. I don't know what they think of the brand. If they, it, it's weird because you know Pure Fishing makes a zillion different SKUs. So why not make extra Vansol stuff? I don't know, but. We are getting 151s and 201s, which for you lefties is pretty cool. Um, let's see. Uh, mystery tackle boxes. Uh, you know, that's that's a that's an idea that we've had of doing like a J&H style box. I don't know that we'd do a mystery style box, but um, something that had um, dark matter stuff in there and then popular stuff from other manufacturers. And, you know, we were always thinking of like bundling that with other things with like with the loyalty rewards program, with discounts, with coupons, uh, with uh, free shipping and, you know, all the kind of like we wanted you to have like a benefits program almost more so than just um, one thing. You know, my, my whole thing is really is community like I'm I am dead set on having a great community no matter what. And um, I'm going to push that forever because that's what I believe will, will make us successful and be able to reach the, the most amount of people. So maybe that means having this benefits program that includes, you know, 10 different things and not just one in a box can be part of that. Or maybe we just do the box on its own. I probably don't want to do the box on its own. But, you know, if, if that's what everybody says, like, hey, we just want the box, then maybe we'll do the box. Um, um, let's see. I uh, just picked up an Okuma Makaira 30, loaded it with 130 pounds uh, hollow ace. Uh, what rod would you recommend? Um, you know, depending on if you're uh, chunking or trolling or both. I mean, our dark matter stand-ups and our dark matter chunking rods are awesome, especially if you want something made in America. They are just absolutely sick. And we just added a, um, we call it the mid-tier. It's not really a mid-tier, so... Basically, we have the, the, the F5, the Sloopster F5, which is like a $350 rod, which has like wine on guides, aluminum unibut, like all the features in a high-end rod using, you know, in an inexpensive package, right? $350 package. 
Then we have the, you've probably seen them with the, with, uh, the Dark Matter Customs on Calstar Blanks with Winthrop Guides, the Terminator butt that, that goes from straight to curved. You know, they're like $1,100, $1,200. And we said, oh, we need something like in between that. Um, so we do do, we do two different things. We do the same Winthrop Guides on like a regular Unibot, not, not the Terminator. And then we also just added a, the same thing, but instead of Winthrop components, which are a bit more expensive, AFCO. AFCO uh, wind on rollers with, uh, a regular unibud, maybe it's Pack Bay or maybe it's AFCO or whatever. So, and those are I think around six fifty something like that. So, it really depends what you want to do. But uh, I would check that stuff out. And if you have questions, just email me, Josh at JNH dot com. Uh, let's see. Uh, what's your opinion on the, on the Saltex spinning reels? I like them a lot for the money. They're really good value. The guys over at Tsunami are working really hard to uh, deliver a lot of great products. So we've sold a ton of Saltexes. And uh, the guys who fish them tend to really like them. Uh, let's see. Um, someone likes the Dark Matter HK rod. You know, that is a very undervalued rod in terms of what you get for the money and what it does. Um, I'm, I don't, I, one of the things I don't do is I don't, I don't promote Dark Matter enough. Like I, I should do like a Dark Matter post once a day. And I think once we get the, um, uh, the website and I've already uh, got, you know, a dark matter Instagram account, but I haven't posted anything. So don't even look for it. It's just, I, it's reserved dark matter fishing. I'll start posting, um, you know, once I, once I get some more time and get into it and get the website up. But, um, the HK, if you're looking for like a near shore offshore rod, like jigging, that kind of stuff, uh, chunking, that rod is, is awesome. You know, and that we actually have a series of three different models. Um, Little Jack Lures, yes, we carry Little Jack Lures. Uh, some of them, I can do more with that, but uh, it comes from Japan, and it's just, you know, you know what it is? It's just I have a lack of time and enough time. Um, you know, I committed myself to YouTube more, as you guys see right now, and I wanted to, uh, like, I, I the YouTube community got us started, like, in a way, like, we were already the dominant shop on Long Island, but the YouTube community helped us to get to another level, and I appreciate that. And uh, I'm into it, so I wanted to do more, which is like, let's do a video per day. Every single day, do a video. It, you know, I can do it, answer a lot of questions every single day. I can do it, so I commit like at least an hour, and it turned out to be, it's probably more like two hours a day, but I'm, I'm passionate about it, I believe in it, and I want to um, commit to this community. So, um, so yeah, so we'll keep doing that kind of stuff. Um, what's the newest seven foot jigging rod out? Um, I don't know, that's, you gotta be more specific if you want me to answer that question. Um, too many, too many models, too much stuff. So, all right, let's, let's crack open, uh, the Stella and the Van Stahl so you guys can get a look at it. You can see them side by side. Um, I'll start with the Stella here, peel this sticker off, which everybody's like, I want a fresh unopened reel, whatever, you know, we do spot checks from time to time so that we can check these things and make sure, cause there have been stuff times when you get stuff and it doesn't work properly. All right. So what's in the box? Paperwork looks like a white sheet, but there you go. Still a paperwork. Let's open it up. We got the handle. Take that out. We got the reel itself. Got it. This comes in the box. If you guys aren't sure what this is, see this metal. Can you see that? Oh, let's see. I'll put my hand behind it. Maybe you can. You see that little metal? This thing. Can you see that? You see that right there? That is if you want to switch the reel to the to the other side and you want to reel with your right hand. You need to actually take this piece out that's already in there and replace it with this one. Uh, it comes with a little uh, little pack of oil, great, and this uh, this you know spool band, whatever. Okay, so that's that. Let's put that down here next to the the camo boot. So this is the 14k, and this is my favorite size in this reel because um, pretty cool handle, nice big big um, rubberized knob. Um, the reason I like this reel the most is one reason, and that is line capacity. It has, and, and the body, it has the same body as the, um, like 10,000, but it's got more line capacity. So you can fill this with 500 yards of, I think, 65 pound max quattro, and you're good to go. And that's, that amount of line will let you handle um, just a ton of, an absolute ton of different fish and different styles of fishing and jigging and popping and all that kind of stuff for let's say up to a hundred pound fish. I don't know, something like that. Um, all right. So that's on, that is together. Here we go. Beautiful, 
Made in Japan, Stella. Everybody's dream reel. The 14K. And it is uh, super dreamy, as we say. Feels great, you know? Boat reel. You want to go uh, jigging for tuna. You know, that kind of stuff. Uh, Kubera snapper. Big grouper. I don't know, any of that kind of stuff. Uh, you are good to go. All right. Let's open the vast stall. So, VR150. So I did a video review yesterday on the 125. You can watch that after this is done. Um, you know, I appreciate you when you guys watch the videos, um, especially when you watch them all the way through. It just helps us analytics-wise. gets it in front of more people. You know, recommend them to people. We appreciate it. You know, it's the whole the, the videos on YouTube are meant to be short and easy for you to digest. You know, you're on your lunch break or whatever, and you want to check something out, so you can literally watch a two-minute video and, you know, know, you know good, a, good, a good enough amount about one of these reels so that you can decide, you know, if you want to research it more, you want to buy it, you don't, you hate it, you know, whatever it is. So here we go. Plastic off. VR150. Now they come with this uh, sort of rubberized, I don't know if you can see that, that rubberized cover. And that's generally a little bit tricky to get off because it just sticks, but I think I got it started and we're off. We're good. All right, so we're good. Handle. Delrin handle right there. I don't know why some people don't like this. I, you know, it's lightweight. It feels fine to me, but some people prefer the aluminum. If that's you, hey, that's cool. You know, we have the the handle knobs. You know, it's, I think it's like what, sixty bucks or sixty five bucks. I don't know if it's worth it, but uh, but people do like it. So there we go. Handle on. So here it is. One fifty black. See the handle right there. See how it juts out. Longer stem. People were asking if the stem was longer. It is. This is going to be on the silver one as well. And then that big, that big drag knob. Seems like influenced by the, um, you know how they came out with those VS knobs that were, that were thicker? I think it was sort of influenced by that. They figure they can get more torque out of the reel. Very quiet drag clicker. Can you even hear that? I don't know if you can even hear it. I can, it's like barely audible. Now some guys like that. They're fishing at night. They don't want people to hear when they have a fish on. Got it. I understand that. But let's take this off for a second here. You can see the... Let's see if you can get that in focus. Drag knob. Really big drag knob. I know this is the most exciting video ever, right? Drag knobs. Spool comes off. And then, again, I don't have something to reference, but that, that shaft there is... Uh, let's see if I can... Get that in focus for you. Is girthier than the previous version. And you can see the whole thing. Nice big bail. That's manual. And it sits in there. So this is going to be super popular. The VR, uh, I'm glad they did this. It's interesting. Like, you know, I'm, I'm all about making things lighter, right? Taking weight out. But what they did with the VR was they actually made it a little bit heavier by about an ounce. And that's because they beefed up that shaft and they beefed up the, uh, the gear inside of here. And I think they did that because originally when this came out, the thought was this is a surf reel. You know, maybe these guys would light inshore with it. But Vansall is known as this like rugged, overbuilt brand. So I think they, they thought to themselves, you know what? We really got to beef this thing up. And make it so that the offshore guys, it, it could handle the the beating that an offshore reel would take. You know, like a reel made for offshore style offshore reel. And uh, so, you know, minimal changes, but um, you get you get a lot more out of it. It comes with the, let's see here. It comes with the ballast kit. A little ballast kit right there. Uh, it's supposed to come with a tool. Here it is. Let's see. Take that out. So here is that tool. Can you see it? Let's see if it's focus. Little tool right there so that you can service your own reel if you need to. But you know, if you keep this, the roller bearing lubed up, and this loop, the handle, or this this joint right here, you know, the it's fully sealed. You know what I mean? It's I always I was uh, like compare it to like going into space, and you know you have like a you, you're like in a space shuttle, like. Would you ever just like open that up to like fix the seals when you're in space? Like, no, why would you do that? Like, if it's sealed, it's sealed, right? Um, anyway, so let's see if I can show you them both at the same time. 
Let's see the best way I can show you these two, so that you can get a, get an idea of both of them together. So Vanstall Stella. I mean, now again, now you could use that this Vanstall for for offshore stuff, um, but I think most people are still going to go with the Stella. Um, they're two very different reels, you know. People compa compare them. This is just super smooth, buttery smooth, sort of luxury type of stuff. Crazy amount of power. And this one is just feels like like rugged. Like you could just beat the crap out of it all day long. And it's just going to keep going. Um, the ceiling in this one is, is, is a little bit more robust than, than that in the... Um, in the Stella. I don't know what, uh, if Tackle Advisors did a video specifically on the ceiling in both of these. Um, if not, maybe that's something for the future for him. But uh, very cool. So let me know what you guys think of that. Which one would you rather have? The Stella or the Vanstall? Let's forget about price. Let's say they were the same price. Would you rather have uh, any, let's say any size VR or any size Stella? You could pick Whichever one you want, but it's got to be the saltwater ones, right? So no intro ones. So it's got to be, uh, did they make a 4,000? They make a 4,000. That's a pretty cool reel. Uh, which one would you pick? Stella or Vanstall? And I'm going to do, um, over the weekend, I'm going to do reviews of these, which will be really cool. Um, last thing I'll show you is, the last, do I have anything else here other than this? You know, I don't know if I showed this to you guys. I haven't opened it up yet. I was going to crack it in the video. Dark matter battery. And you're like, batteries, what is that for? Why are you doing that? This is for electric reels. Don't most people have boat power? Some people do, but not everybody, especially if you're going on a, like a party boat, charter boat type of deal, and you're bringing your own electric reel. So you would need one of these. And I have the, this here. But what I keep forgetting is, this is the electric reel, is the cable that plugs into the bottom of here and then has alligator clips and and connects there so i guess you know next week i'll have to do that but what's cool about this battery is a normal battery that you would buy is um like a like a the jet ski battery or maybe a car charger or something like that and they weigh 20 pounds this weighs three and it comes with a handle i don't know how well you can see it there i mean it comes with a strap and you can either hang it off your belt you can bring a like a, a cheap white bucket and leave it in a bucket and uh, it's you know it's it's uh it has no openings there's no there's nothing to plug in the, the cool thing about it is um when you charge it you actually just hook alligator clips up to it and that's what delivers the charge and that's what also takes the charge so there's no like open ports that you might get water into or salt into so it's a really cool design and if you're if you fish electric reels and you don't have power on your boat you're going to want one of these things they are really uh really cool so um all right let's um let's see if we have any other questions here or any other comments let's see where we're at where we left off here uh, let's see all right i think here we're getting close um we answer that one all right i uh, got the 2024k stella cool so did anyone actually win the 5000 gift card so no one actually won the 5000 dollars gift card so I'll talk about the game for a little bit so that you guys can understand what happened and why certain things happened. We gave out, um, I, I think, over a thousand prizes. Like, we gave out a lot of stuff. But when it came to the bigger stuff, the bigger prizes where it was a matching game, we didn't give out as much as I thought we would. Um, we, for whatever reason, I just think it was, you know, when you when you do it over that time period, right? So if we take that time period, which was like, October, November, December, like maybe half, was it half of October, November, December, and then some of January, right? So October, not the busiest time of year. December is more of a gift month, right? And then January is not a busy year because it's, it's, it's out of season, right? November, super busy, right? So we brought in something like 15,000 cards and we gave out the vast majority of them over that time period. But I don't think people were buying, um, like buying multiple times. Like you weren't like it wasn't fluke season. You weren't like oh, I'm at a gulp. Let me buy more gulp and get a game card. Oh man, I use that whole gulp. Let me go back next week and get you know like or or bait or whatever. Like it wasn't it wasn't those repetitive customers where they would accumulate multiple a lot of cards and therefore have the chance at winning, um, you know the the five thousand dollar giveaway. You know getting both pieces or getting 
uh, the Stratic or Shadow or so. So we gave out some of that stuff. We did, you know. Um, we gave out some of the Mojo, some of the Stratics, some of the Pens, some of the Chatterlors. We, we did have winners for, like, some of those, not all of them. And then no one won the $5,000 gift card. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to either do the game again or give those still give those products away. I didn't want to just do a $5,000 gift card giveaway. Like, I feel like that's special and that's something that was, you know, something that people should have, we wanted them to earn by playing this thing. Um, so... I will give away a five thousand gift card hopefully this year. It just depends on if we do the game again, um, when we do it. All these delays are messing things up, and I'm just a bit overwhelmed in terms of uh, what I can do. So, unfortunately, no one won, but uh, hopefully next time someone will. I think it would be really cool. I, you know, I have I literally had all those products in my office for the past four or five months, like waiting for people to win them. People came in the store with winners, and and that was cool. So. Um, I'm hoping next time someone wins a 5k giveaway, uh, cause again, I have all those cards printed up and whatever it is, what it is. Um, uh, let's see here. Um, any, uh, Josh, any idea if Shimano is going to release any special edition reels for their hundredth anniversary? I, they don't usually do that kind of stuff. I doubt it. I, you know, I, it would be so cool if Shimano did one-offs and special stuff. You know, I know they do that. They probably do that stuff in Japan. They just don't do it here. Um, you know, Abu just did their 100th anniversary reel. Whatever. They haven't updated their technology in 7,000 years. Does anybody care? Probably not. Um, fishing the new Stratic and loving it. Cool. Uh, what are your thoughts on new St. Croix Mojo inshore spinning rods? Just got a 7.6 medium heavy and it feels very front end heavy. Yeah, I mean, you got to put a reel on that thing and actually fish it. They are really nice for the money. That's going to be a super popular rod. So you picked a winner. I think you will dig it. Um, someone picks the Stella. A couple people Stella, three people Stella, four people Stella. Um, um, and then someone else, nice, no more uh, car batteries for towel fishing. Yeah, that is a, that is a problem. Oh, okay. Let's see. I got one, one other thing that came in today. This was like, sometimes I just get emails with like new products and they're like, hey, do you want these products? And I'm like, yeah, why not? So we order them. So um, Mega Bass, these were out in Japan. Let's see if I can find a bigger one. They're called, uh, let's see here. It's a Trout Lure. GH64 Humpback from Mega Bass. I haven't even put these up online. Let me, um, I got a whole box of them. I don't know if you guys can see. This is, this is literally like every SKU. There's like 7,000 of them, but let's see if I can sort of take this out and show it to you so that you can see. Do we have any trout fishermen? Anybody who likes trout fishing? And this, this might be something I should send to uh, to Fishhawk so that he can uh, mess around with. Uh, but these have been out in Japan for a little while, um, and then they, they sort of brought them over here. And, of course, when they pack these things, they, like, you know, make them so that you can't get them out because why would you? You know, I guess they're not anticipating you to do it live on a... On a video, a streaming video, but let's have a look here. I'm probably gonna kill myself here with this hook. Come on, come out. See, so you now they're secure. There we go. All right, cool. Got it out. Sorry about that. Let's see if you can see that. Let's see. I'll, put, I'll try to de green screen it. And of course, it takes all the green out, so no, we can't. Let's see. Nope, you still can't see it. Nice. Let's see if I can turn it. Right, you can see the front. That's all green. Let me find one that doesn't have green in it. Let's try this one. I am failing you guys tonight, huh? Let's see if you can get this out. How was the live video? Oh, Josh was defeated by a trout lure. Yeah, it kind of looks like that one. Like that's the way it's going to go. Maybe we can get this one out and see. And maybe if I leave it in the... Ah, the package has green in it, but... So if I leave it in the package, can you see it without it? Let's see here. Try to get it so that's in focus. Oh, it's killing me. It's killing me, Mega Bass. You're killing me. This was a this was a fail. All right, I'm giving up on that because I just know that that's never gonna work. Let's see here. That's got green in it. They all have green in them. They all have price tags on them. Can you see that? That to focus. Come on, focus. It's still taking some of it out. It's still taking some of it out, isn't it? Giving you like, yeah, that's not going to work. Anyway, we'll put them up in the next couple of days. I'll, I'll post pictures on Instagram so you can see them, and I'll post a picture on uh, on here as well so that you can see that. But more, uh, more trout lures. Um, 
which are cool. Japanese trout lures, I like it. Um, all right, a couple people do trout fish. Um, for the newer VR lineup, are they using the same drag clip? I don't know. That's something I'll have to ask for you. Uh, shoot me a DM on Instagram or send me an email, and that's something I will answer for you. Um, I think that's it, guys. We've, we've, we've gone an hour. I think that's pretty cool. Is, if there's anything else you want to ask me, uh, let me know. Otherwise, we will call it quits, and um, I will do... I don't know which one of these. I, I'll probably do the Stella tomorrow, the Van Stall on Sunday, and then I'll have the interview, hopefully, with, with Fisherholic. Hopefully, his date went well. Let's see... Uh, He'll, he'll give me some feedback on, on that. Maybe that's the first question I'll ask him on Sunday is, is how'd your date go? Um, but yeah, anyway, I think that's it. So I, I appreciate you guys tuning in. Download the JNH app. Uh, if you have questions you need me, DM me uh, on Instagram, at JNH Tackle. Um, if you have more giveaway ideas or any sort of ideas related to what you want to see, uh, sales you want to see, any kind of stuff, any sort of feedback at all, good, bad, I don't care. Just email me, josh at jnh.com. I'm still waiting for my mic. I can't wait for that. It'll make the sound so much better on these live videos. And I'm just going to try to do it more and more, you know, more often. So anyway, guys, I'm going to call it a night. I hope everybody has a great evening, great weekend. Uh, hopefully you go fishing this weekend. It's been like 68 in New York. It's kind of silly. But um, yeah, thanks again for tuning in. Tuning in and uh, we'll do this again soon. Later.